Online education is one of the fastest growing, most accessible ways to learn. I know you all know about online education because you're watching it right now. Many organizations today are innovating in online education. MIT, edX, Coursera, Udacity, but one of them was created as a user innovation, Khan Academy. Khan Academy is an online educational platform for people of all ages from all over the world. Right now, I'm using Khan Academy to study the history of music, while my daughter Maria, Maria, Hi. <laughs> is using it to learn to count. But how did Khan Academy come to be? How did Khan Academy come to be? In 2004, MIT alumnus Salman Khan began tutoring his teenage cousin Nadia in math. Unfortunately, Nadia lived across the country, so Sal had to teach her over the phone. To illustrate concepts, Sal used online software to write out equations while talking to Nadia. However, meeting on the phone was inconvenient, so he began recording videos for Nadia. Nadia actually preferred the videos to learning over the phone, because the videos gave her the ability to review the material as many times as she needed. Soon, other family members and friends began asking Sal to tutor them. He didn't have the time to teach them individually, so he began posting videos to YouTube. Word spread quickly, and soon thousands of people across the globe were watching his videos. He received letters thanking him for his online lectures and the learning opportunities they had provided. Salman realized the importance of providing easily accessible education to people around the world and became so committed to this cause that he quit his job in finance in order to create educational videos full-time. Khan Academy has a huge community of users, yet Salman Khan decided to give the innovation away for free. Huh.